ओके स्टूडेंट्स वाइल यू आर डिस्कसिंग द प्रिमिनरी कंसेप्ट रिक्वायर एज टूल्स टू रियलाइज द फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन फिल्टरिंग ऑफ डिजिटल इमेजेस वी कवर द डिस्क्रीट इम्पल्स सिग्नल और इम्पल्स फंक्शन एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ सिंगल वेरिएबल नाउ लेट एस एक्सटेंड दैट डिस्कशन टू फंक्शन ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स बिकॉज वेन वील बी डीलिंग विथ डिजिटल इमेजेस डिजिटल इमेजेस आर फंक्शन डिजिटल इमेजेस आर मॉडल एज मॉडल्ड एज फंक्शन ऑफ टू स्पेशल वेरिएबल्स and those two special variables are also discrete in nature so our digital images basically are functions of discrete two discrete special coordinate variables that is x and y that we how you represent it so let us uh, let us uh, say that the 2d discrete impulse we represented by del of x comma y which is once if x and y both are equals to 0 and del of xy is equals to 0 for any other value of x and y so how will it look like the one d impulse look like this when this is x axis when x equals to 0 del of x is equals to 1 And del of x is zero anywhere else. So what about this, which is a 2D discrete impulse? 2D discrete impulse is one only when del of x y is equals to one. Only if both x and y are equals to zero. Let us see. So this is the x y plane. This is the y axis. This is the x axis. so you can think of that this is the special coordinate x and this is the special coordinate y and in our context both the axis x and y are discrete in nature and here we will be discussing 2d discrete impulse so for a 2d discrete impulse del of xy will be equals to 1 when x equals to 0 y equals to 0 and it is so x equals to 0 y equals to 0 is this point so at this value of x and y del of xy is equals to 1 so you have a bold arrow of magnitude 1 so this is how a 2d impulse will look like so to move ahead we should discuss the shifting property of 2d discrete impulse so that this the shifting property will say that summation x equals to minus infinity to infinity y equals to minus infinity to infinity f of xy del of xy is equals to f of 0 comma 0 that means the shifting property expression lets the function to take value at the location of the impulse so the location of the impulse here is at x equals to 0 y equals to 0 so the, this summation gets a, gets you a result of f at the origin that is x equals to 0 y equals to 0 so if you shift the impulse to a certain location x0 and y0 this infinite summation will give you the value of this function at that particular location of the impulse let's say uh there is a impulse for suppose there is a impulse at x x0 equals to 1 and y0 equals to 1 so so how will you visualize visualize it x0 equals to 1 is this point y0 equals to 1 is this point so del of x minus x0 y minus y0 that means Uh, for x0 equals to 1 y0 equals to 1 the impulse location will be at this position so you have a impulse at this location 
because this is x equals to 1 or y equals to 1. So impulse, impulse is at over here. Suppose if you have x0 equals to 2, y0 equals to 1. So x0 equals to 2 is here, y0 equals to 1 is here. So you will have the impulse at this location. So according to whatever is the value of x0 and y0, if an impulse is at this position, you will get this summation equals to f of 1 comma 1. If impulse is at this position, if impulse is shifted to this location, this infinite summation will give you a result equals to f of 2 comma 1 because x0 is equals to 2, y0 equals to 1. So, depending upon what is the value of x0 and y0, that means at what to what position the impulse has been shifted, this infinite summation will take the value of f at that particular location of the impulse. Ok students, uh, it is of importance here to visualize our digital image on the same coordinate axis on which we have represented our 2D impulse because your image is also the f of xy is also a 2D signal and we are trying to co-operate, uh, we, we are trying to operate uh, with both the impulse and the 2D image f of xy in this particular in these particular equations. So up till now we have been visualizing the image like this. M cross N image was represented like this, in which these were the sample points, special sample points at which f of xy were, oh, f of xy was allowed to take certain discrete values. So the f of xy has a certain value here, f of xy has a certain value here f of x, y is a certain value here and likewise. So if it is an 8 bit image, so the values range between 0 to 255. So depending upon the image content, these pixels, we call it pixels. So these pixels will take intensity values. So how to relate or how to uh, represent this, uh, this image in a coordinate axis like this. So you can just place this m cross n image on this xy plane. So it will take the form like this. So if this is x of x, g, x, x equals 0, y equals to 0, this is x equals to 0, y equals to 0. This point corresponds to this point. 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 And like this. So how the f of x y will look like? Whatever is the value here, whatever the value of f of 0 0 is, the value will determine the magnitude of spike whatever is the value of f of 0 1 this is f of 0 1 according to the value of f of 0 1 this spike will take magnitude according to what is the intensity value at this particular coordinate at this location we will have a spike of that particular magnitude so f of x y will look like this will look somewhat like this so at every location there is a spike and the magnitude of the spike depends upon the value of f of x y at that particular value of x and y so now you will be able to better relate this uh, better relate to this shifting property of impulse function